Hello, beautiful Aries. So, um, I'm over here getting into your energy and I just burst into tears as soon as I got into your energy. And, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm all prepared. I was fine. I was, I went about, um, got my Starbucks. I went about my, my morning, um, you know, cleansed my space, felt really good. And then got all the cards out on the table. My eyes started to water a little bit, you know, because of my allergies and just headaches and all this stuff. I carry a lot of emotional energies in my body. Um, you know, just, you know, doing this job, transmuting energies and also just going about my own life and holding energies and trying to transmute them as much as possible. But emotionally, I carry a lot of emotions and stress in my body. So I've had this headache for a while, um, a little over a week now, and then allergies on top of that, and it's just like, you know, a, a lot of difficult energies, but I was fine. Today I was fine, and then um, as soon as I hit record and I was praying, you know, do my thanks as I do before I get into the readings, and I just burst into tears. So I just had to take like five minutes and I said, okay, well, maybe I'll do Aries and Virgo another day. And Spirit said, no, this is the energy. You have to show up like this. You have to show up like this. There's something about showing up no matter how you feel. Like showing up no matter how difficult it takes. Showing up no matter what obstacles are in the way. You just have to show up. You just have to show up. And that's the energy that I feel here in your space. And um, so we're just showing up, showing up no matter what. In your space, I got a lot of visions of mountains, mountainous energies, large energies, larger than life, difficult energies, energies that seem impossible to move or to remove, to distance yourself from, to get away from. Um, but there was this aerial feeling like a lot of air energy that I started to receive, um, mental clarity, um, a weight being lifted, like 10 of wands going to the ace of wands or 10 of swords going to the ace of swords, a lot of like, okay, now I'm seeing 101, you could also be seeing 1010, but I'm specifically, excuse me, getting 101, 404, 505, excuse me. My throat chakra is just opening up now. Um, so I am seeing that there is going to be a major obstacle that's going to be overcome. Okay, you guys could be overcoming this now. Excuse me. Just going to, you know, be doing this throughout your reading. A major obstacle to overcome. I'm also getting the ascent. Um, I'm getting sleepless nights, recurring dreams, or nightmares. And then I got the energy that if you climb high enough, even a nightmare can look like a beautiful dream. So again, like getting this aerial view of something, seeing the beauty in the chaos, seeing the beauty in the pain, seeing the beauty in the struggle. Um, but there's something about looking at something, looking at the nightmare from a bigger view, even that looks beautiful because you're not seeing something so close to you and like feeling it so close and like as if something is never ending you're seeing it from an aerial perspective you're seeing it high enough looking at the fullness of it and seeing that it has edges seeing that it has an end seeing that it has intricacies and different layers and different energies that weave together there's something beautiful about it so it's having like that hanged man perspective and energy that there is enlightenment in this dark period that you may be experiencing right now i'm seeing also that you're putting distance between something or someone um and then i got strikes of luck ten of pentacles and the star um i'm i'm getting the number 21 like lucky 21 i don't know if someone is that a game? That's a game. That's 21. That's like, I think blackjack. Is that blackjack? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a gambler, but <laughs> see my throat chakra keeps opening up in the space. 
Um, a lot of tough energies. A lot of tough energies in the collective. And even me personally, it's just, it is tough, you guys. It's not easy. Okay, and I'm not here to like sugarcoat anything. I'm not here to like even pretend that I have it all together because I don't. Um, I'm as real as they come, and because this is this is this is why we're on this journey and we're we're on it together. We're here to help each other out. <sighs> um, I started getting forbidden something that's forbidden but this forbidden energy is a mystery it's like an unanswered mystery that has stayed with you the longest so it feels forbidden but that forbidden energy is almost like coming out of the shadows and that's even going to be revealed i don't know if this like forbidden energy is, is like in the nightmare as well like something that keeps haunting you or poking at you or something just stayed with you the longest um some kind of energy stayed with you the longest and it's like it's hard to figure out i feel like aries you are coming across to people as if you are hard to figure out or you may have been like that your entire life um something about you is hard to figure out to others or a very particular person in your life um like a symbolic relationship could be even romance i'm seeing that you are playing a new role or a different role in your life um, I'm seeing a switch up in some kind of job or career. I'm also seeing now changing places. So if if like your boss is leaving the company, I'm seeing you go into their role. So there is some kind of switch up. That's just an example that may be someone's situation. Um, I'm getting the numbers 14, 83, 28, 618, and then the month of January very specifically, and then I got love ascends. Okay, this ascension energy is in your space, the ascent, love ascends. Um, getting to this higher up perspective, even even the nightmare looks like a beautiful dream. So, um, yeah, lots of energies, you guys. Lots of energies. Um, just one moment. I'm gonna go straight into the or the tea leaf oracles, and then um, we'll get into the cards i'm just gonna take my time flow um yeah january at the bottom of the deck okay i just want to say a quick thank you to my ancestors known and unknown thank you spirit of the most high thank you to my great grandmother nyla thank you to my grandmother sophia who is now in heaven thank you guardian angels for your protection your love your guidance and your support and thank you aries for allowing me to read for you today on me. All right. Just a, a great big fog. It's it's a it's a, it's a fog. You have here success. A lot of heavy energies, but there's such like power within these spaces. There's great power within these, within these spaces. You have here in November and then January again at the bottom of the deck. Okay. All right, let's get into the tea leaves. Thank you. Okay, you have here birth or conception of a child or enterprise. That could be literal. Okay, that may not be literal. You have here unsuccessful plans. It's interesting because you have here success and then unsuccess. I'm seeing that waiting a little longer or waiting for the right time because I'm seeing that something is not going to go as planned in November. But if you wait a little longer, something is going to... Um, be successful in January. Okay, that's something that I'm seeing. This is um, this is timing. This is like a wheel of fortune energy. Yeah, feeling tied down or frustrated. Thanks, spirit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, new job or career as we channeled. And then you have here parrots. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. So 
that's an interesting one. Let me just get one more on that because this is, um, yeah, mountain came up. Major challenge to overcome. Mountain. Let me get one more on this parrot. I'm telling you, when you feel energy, when you feel the energy of others, when you feel the energy of the collective, when you feel your own en energy, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Solid foundation, success with effort. Sorry, the tower at the bottom of the deck. So this is why I wanted to go to the tea leaves. It's almost like, it's almost like getting this perspective. Um, like, give it to me straight. Give it to me straight. Just tell me. Just tell me. I feel like that's what this parrot is. I'm not necessarily getting someone gossiping about you or spilling all your secrets out but it feels like an energy of like just talk to me talk to me give it to me straight okay um i am feeling also like don't tell your plans don't tell your plans to anybody because that may be spoken about to other people and that's why it may be unsuccessful because other people are going to excuse me displace their opinions on it their negative energies on it right you had here the cobweb negative forces beyond your control that you're protected from okay people are going to talk about the job that you left or you know the new career that you're getting um I think we did this reading last time for you where like it's it gets lonely at the top because of your success because of your the road that you have taken the path that you have taken people are looking at you talking about you um some of you may may leave your job to start your own company okay something is going to be unsuccessful at first but then it's going to give rise it's going to be um, it's going to bear fruit. It's going to be successful. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's challenges guys. Like the, the, this is no joke and I'm not here to spiritual by spiritually bypass either. Like this shit is hard. This isn't like, I get it. Like everything happens for a reason, blah, 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 blah. But there's something about this energy that really wants to be raw and real. And I feel like that's why I just started getting extremely emotional and then just pushing through it because I feel like that's how you feel sometimes too. Um, like just showing up, like you just show up even though you may feel frustrated, even though you just want to go cry in the bathroom for two seconds and then come back into the, into, into the world and doing what you need to do. Um, Okay. This is the Lafruma Healing Oracle deck. It's on sale. Um, it's a deck that I created with Russell and Rob. The link is in the description box if you're interested. It's a rune deck. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to take the one that flipped up. You have your knight. You have your knight. Someone's name could be Ash or Ashley. Ashton. Ash. Something with Ash. Ash. This could also be the ashes. Like the, the phoenix ashes rising. Rising from the ashes, excuse me. You have your knight. To turn dark, the inner troll. Okay, 38, which is 11. I'm going to read the poem to you. Um, 
because this is just this is just the energy darkness like a mood falls suffocating as it engulfs all emotions rupturing their splendor shading all with the heavy hues of futility a sudden compression that should be a lesson in depression but it isn't it loathes and demeans our dreams not just yours but those of others our inner troll pose challenges blocking our bridges out of the doldrums evoke the resolve from the lands of the midnight sun light will return and dissolve the darkness light will return it's interesting because i'm seeing now the sun but see how the sun is poking itself beyond the tree there light will return okay you will overcome this energy all right you will overcome it This could all be mental, okay? This could all be the inner troll as that poem depicts, okay? This also could be outside forces beyond your control that you're protected from, okay? You're being shielded. It feels like, if I'm to be honest with you, it feels like this night is a shield. It feels like this darkness is a shield, that's what this feels like this darkness is a shield shielding you protecting you from outside forces beyond your control protecting you from your mind it's like just just getting through getting through getting through just have to get through you're being shielded the night is shielding you the light will return. Yeah, preparation. Look, luck at the bottom. I said strikes of luck, 28, which is 10. Night at the bottom. You can't make it up. You can't. You just can't. There's like, there's no way. Like, energy is energy. You have here night twice. We don't need to shuffle the cards. Look at the bottom of the deck. We just shuffled. Night. 33, 28, and preparation. The night is shielding you. Give me a moment. Our intro fall temperatures evoke the resolve from the lands of the midnight sun. Look at this poem. Russell wrote these poems. They're so beautiful. Evoke the resolve from the lands of the midnight sun. I feel like you, I, again, like I'm, I'm seeing this, like this shield, right? You're being, the night is shielding you, shielded by the night, okay? As you're being shielded by the night, there's all these preparations happening with the sun. The sun and the light is preparing these new energies that are going to give birth, to be honest with you, I feel like I feel like you guys have been in this. I feel like you guys are going to come out, come out of this really soon, like maybe even just before November because the sun is peeking out here, maybe like October-ish to November. And then January, that's that new year, right? Birth. So you're at like the tail end of this darkness. Like you're, it's like you're, you're going to come out. And I believe it was Libra where Libra had a similar energy of like, it's not a dead end. It's a womb. It's not a dead end. It's a womb. 
and here you have here birth. So there's a lot of things happening here in the background, right? Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Like you're being taken care of. You're being taken care of, right? Something may seem unsuccessful right now, but it's going to be successful. Okay? Strikes of luck. All right? Strikes of luck. This is, um, this is like preparation for, I don't even want to use the word in uh, preparation for a new cycle. This feels like preparation for a new era. Yes, a new era that you're going to soar. You're going to soar in your new era. This is a new era. Something that has stayed with you the longest. Because now I'm getting this forbidden energy. Oh, I already did that. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's shuffle these. Yeah, you're on track. Okay, Archangel Raphael is here. Okay, you're on track one. You're on track one. That's interesting. <laughs> it's number one, but I'm like, you're on track one. I don't know if like someone takes a train, track one, okay? The, the signs here, um, northbound, westbound, eastbound train, on track. Okay, you're on track. Okay, this darkness. Okay, shielded by the darkness, shielded by the night, this preparation, this luck, this new job, this major challenge that you will overcome. Okay, this birth, feeling tied down and frustrated. Everything is just moving. It's moving. It's on track. Again, like I'm trying, I'm trying to be careful with like spiritual bypassing, with saying stuff like, it's all meant to be. Everything happens for a reason because like I know how irritating hearing that is and how shitty this is. I know how shitty this feeling is. Okay, and I'm not going to spiritual bypass you and say it's okay. It's okay. I, it's not it's not. It it's shitty and it sucks. But you're strong. If it's one thing that I know, Aries, is that you're strong. And again, this energy of like, I just show up. I still show up. I still show up and I do the job that I need to get done. I still show up. Even in the night, I still show up. Someone may do, someone may do night shifts. I'm getting night shifts here as well. Okay? You still show up no matter what and it's your perseverance and your perspective on life and your perseverance that's moving you through this energy. That's bringing in these strikes of luck that your guides and your angels are around you protecting you. But also this preparation is happening in the background. It's because of you. It's because of you. And there's also something that I've been saying for a long time where it's not luck. It's all of the it's all of the work that you have put in in the depths. And here you have night. It's not luck, it's hard work. Archangel Raphael. I have to talk about Archangel Raphael. Because there was an incident that occurred earlier today. And I was talking to Archangel Raphael and um, a car ended up damaging me. Like I collided with this car. It was a very like small, it was in a parking lot. So no one got hurt. It was my car didn't even get damaged. But um, Archangel's number is 422. Okay. 
this is the healer of the divine okay Archangel Raphael is here protecting you shielding you in the night and also providing with this healing energy okay light will return and dissolve the darkness you see that light that Archangel Raphael has in his hand and also the light that's coming from the heart chakra there is being light here that's being returned to you that's what Archangel Raphael is is providing so I was in this parking lot and I saw the the car and it was number 422 and I said oh hey Archangel Raphael and I, you know, again, like I was fine during my morning. I was doing what I needed to do while these energies were going on all around me. And um, anyways, this car backed up and hit my car. And I was just like, oh, thanks, Archangel Raphael. Like Archangel Raphael giving you a little, a little nudge. Um, but our, anyway, Archangel Raphael's number is 422. 422. So whenever you see that number 422, that's Archangel Raphael. You could also be working with him. Um, I always feel weird saying him because Archangels don't have genders. Anyway, I channeled the number 618. You have here 18, 3, and 3 is 6. So this is 618 right here. You also have here 88. Eight. No, sorry, you have, you have here 10. 10 and 8. What did I say earlier? I said 101. Did I say that? I don't remember. But I'm seeing 101, 404, 505. And look here, you have faded meeting at the bottom, number 7. I'm going to take that too. Because this is like midnight, the strike of midnight. You are being prepared to also, once you come out of the night, come out of this darkness, come out of this phase into your new era, a, some of, a lot of you are going to be meeting um, your person. Okay, what did I say? Love ascends. Yes, love ascends from, literally, it's like, it, it, we're going to do your love reading in, in just a moment here. Um Just give me a moment. I just I need to flow with these energies. I feel like I don't know if they're going if they're taking us there now. Let me just let me just feel it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, 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 immunity. See, you're protected. Okay. Heavy, heavy, heavy look, take flight, soar. You're gonna take flight, you're gonna soar in your new era. You're going to soar in your new era. So this immunity is this protection. The knight is shielding you. Okay, let's shuffle. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Love. Look up. Sorry, this card looks like a... I don't know why they designed it that way. Love up. Do you see how that came up? And I wrote here, love ascends. Love and up. But did you see how it like flipped and then it went back in the deck but it caught my attention that's okay they want to talk about this now love up okay so love is ascending love is ascending and let me talk let me tell you about this person if if you've met this person you guys have mirrored stories Okay, so you may have already met this person. You may have already spoken to this person. This person has come in an upbringing or some kind of um, experience. Like their story mi mirrors your story. Your experiences mirror each other. Okay, very similar. Your experiences mirror each other. Okay, this person is also ascending from the darkness. Also ascending from the night. Love up. Okay, sorry, I have to because it looks like a you-know-what and um, I just don't want to like, I don't want my, I don't want my channel to get banned. <laughs> I don't want my channel to get banned. Um, okay, but love is ascending, okay? 
let me just do it this way all right love up okay love ascends all right some of you again some of you have not met this person yet okay if you haven't met this person yet i feel like in the new year january okay when you come up when you come up from the night when you come up from the darkness okay this person's in the darkness right now too if you know this person, yeah, you're both in between worlds. You're both in between worlds. This is number three. It's almost like the, the, the world here. So if I were to say like, okay, the darkness is like a, a, a lower dimension, a lower realm. Okay, well, let's say just for, for, for descriptive sakes. Um, your reality here like this this upper world or this middle world so to speak is being cleaned up it's being it's being prepared okay so right now you're both between worlds you're both between this world and the lower world okay so the night okay the darkness and the and the middle world and here okay so you're both between worlds So what did I say? If you know this person, if you know this person, if you have, if you have met this person, because everyone's on different timelines, if you've already met this person, I feel like there are some not necessarily separation but there's distance between the both of you there's distance between the both of you yeah to be fair yeah see the fates at the bottom 17 the fates faded meeting okay yeah clean it up again at the bottom of the deck by the book that's interesting you see here how excuse me I'm sorry, it's like allergies, emotional energies, <laughs> chaos, oh, headaches, it's just like everything. Um, by the book. So I'm in this space of like, I don't want to spiritually bypass anybody because what you're feeling is what you're feeling. Okay, to say that everything happens for a reason right now, I feel like it's just absolutely irritating. By the book, okay, something is going as planned that's all i'm gonna say it's going as planned it's going as planned by how it's being created and also how you have co-created it to be not just you but also this person the skills are balanced this person has also made decisions that have also led them to you you have made decisions that have also led you to them okay co-creation all right um so it's just it's going as planned okay it's going as planned again if you know this person i feel like there is distance there's distance between the both of you i'm gonna go to this deck i was gonna go to the tarot but i want to use the blended tarot This is the, um, I don't even know what it's called. I forget what my decks are called. People ask me all the time and I don't know. I don't keep the boxes. I don't like keeping boxes. I don't like a lot of clutter. Um, <sighs> I think this is the Wild Unknown Animal Oracle and Wild Unknown Tarot and I blended them together. So yes, if you know this person, I feel like there's a distance between the both of you. Okay while you both are in the night, in this darkness, in this energy. If you don't know this person, I feel like you're gonna come together in, in, in January, you're gonna meet them in January. But nonetheless, I feel like no matter if you know them or if you don't, no matter what timeline you're on, January is when 
I feel like this relationship really starts to soar, right? Take flight, soar, take flight, strikes of luck, success, birth or conception of a child or enterprise, birth of this relationship, birth of the energies. You have here a dolphin. That's beautiful. And moss at the bottom of that, this air energy. I feel like some of you may be friends, but this is this lighthearted energy. This is also light. This is light. See how we started off extremely dark? Now we're moving into the light because the light will dissolve. Light will return and dissolve the darkness. Love is also returning and will dissolve the darkness. And that's what Archangel Rap Look Butterfly, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. This is interesting because I'm getting like this like pink and green green energy right here from Archangel Raphael. Green is her chakra. Okay, but I'm seeing also this like blended energy from the pink and green light coming from Archangel Raphael with this like water energy, this water force from the dolphin. It's kind of like blended. Something is being blended. I'm seeing now the temperance card. This feels like perhaps like a higher heart, lower heart energy. Love, this higher love frequency, this higher love frequency is coming in. Okay. Because I feel like you went through this darkness to really love yourself, to show up for yourself, no matter what life threw at you, right? That mountain, no matter what challenge was thrown at you, you were in that darkness, you were shielded by the night from forces beyond your control, and you just had to go through it. But you showed up for yourself. There's an immense amount of love that you have shown for yourself, that you've shown to yourself, Dolphin. And again, that's mirrored with this person. I'm getting the numbers 338, 717, 177. Oh, I did have 83. I had number 83 here, and you have here 38. So that's a mirrored energy. You also have here 8 and 3, 83. Archangel Raphael in between worlds. 8338, that's a mirror, that's that's it right there. Mirrored energy. See, so you mirror each other's experiences. Okay. Yeah, death. Okay, Scorpio energy. This is rebirth. Yeah, yeah Scorpio. Men. Scorpio <laughs> When Scorpio comes through, they come through with, with death and also the scorpion. Um, I'm seeing a scorpion tattoo or a scorp something about a scorpion tattoo. I'm also getting the movie The Scorpion King for whatever reason. I don't know how symbolic that is to this reading. I don't know if someone like recently watched that movie and like found something within that movie that resonated with them really heavily, but I'm getting The Scorpion King. Um, but something about that time of Egypt or e even in like Egyptology of like resurrection something about resurrection here with death it this feels like a resurrection because you're coming from this darkness you're being shielded by the night and then just light and love come in to dissolve the darkness and your rebirth your re but this feels like a resurrection This on track card just changed. It just shifted. It just shifted. Because you know what I saw in my head? That, that man right there is looking in that direction. Like, as if something caught their attention. They're not getting on that train. They're, they have one foot on that step. They're about to get on that train, but something caught their attention. They stopped they looked they're getting on another train why because of this resurrection something rose
Let me look at what I channeled for you. If you climb high enough, even a nightmare can look like a beautiful dream, putting distance between something or someone. And of Pentacles, the star, this forbidden energy, unanswered mystery that has stayed with you the longest, it's revealed. This forbidden energy. Is that in the Scorpion King? Why do I, why do they keep showing? I, have, I haven't even seen that movie in so long. I don't even remember. This is about that forbidden, unanswered mystery that has stayed with you the longest, and then all of a sudden it's revealed. It's like because it's like resurrected. It's it's revealed. It's come up. It's the the it's revealed. It's revealed in the light. Because I was thinking, what light? Is it the light of the midnight sun? Or is it light of the of the love? Light of love. Light of the sun. Like during the day. And it's during the day. Because you have here night and then you have your day. It's during the day. It's going to happen really unexpectedly. This forbidden mystery that comes up, this mysterious energy, maybe this person is a mystery to you. Maybe this is a stranger that you meet. But this also feels like something that has been with you the longest that you haven't been able to answer. You're going to answer it for yourself. You're going to feel extreme satisfaction when you answer something yourself. And as soon as you like answer it yourself, it, it grabs your attention and you take a different train you take a different direction you you take a new job you switch roles you switch you switch i was saying that there's a switch you're switching you're switching trains ah oh, i was even saying if you know this person there may be distance between the both of you. Okay. Yeah, sorry. It's just it's all kind of coming together. You have here four of cups. Yeah, just dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction. Unsatisfactory. Not receiving. Blocking the cups. Blocking the healing. Blocking the rain. Just blocking. A lot of blocks. Okay. The moon more of this darkness energy but that's the midnight sun oh midnight sun midnight sun midnight sun the fates that's midnight strike of midnight the midnight sun then you have your the moon the night love Let me get the cards out. <sighs> wow. Ascends. Love ascends. See that staircase? Those pentacles? Let me get your cards out. Hold on, Aries. Hold on. Oh, I love it. The world. The fox. I love this fox. Eight of Swords. The Lamb. The Lizard. One more. Thank you. Nine of Pentacles. The Stingray. And then the Eight of... Look at the Phoenix. Look at the higher, oh my god, and the spider, wow, judgment, oh my god, I can keep going and going and going, <laughs> there we go, wow, 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 okay, all right, all right, yeah, ten, ten of wands, something is being sacrificed here with the lamb, the lizard. Okay, bear with me. The 
Six of Pentacles. This fox is extremely resourceful. Let me tell you something. This darkness that you're in is a resourceful frequency. It's a resilient frequency. It will show you exactly who you are, what you are, what you're capable of. Because you're you're you you're gonna make it through ten of wands. They see that light at the end of the tunnel, and it's not a dead end. It's not a dead end. It's a womb. It's not a dead end. It's a portal. It's not a dead end. It's not a dead end. You're moving into a new era. Aquarius had this a few months ago, actually. I think maybe oh my god, maybe like six seven months ago. This is a new era. This feels like a, a just, I don't, I don't know, I can't, it's just, it feels larger than a new cycle. It feels like you're stepping out into a new world. with all of your resources that you have gathered and prepared in the darkness, in that depth. You're giving something away here. You're leaving it behind in the, in the depth. You're leaving something behind in the darkness, in the night. It's a slam energy. I don't know what you're leaving behind, but that's what I feel. feels like an exchange because it's right by the six of pentacles you're exchanging something here with the night as you move towards the day as you move towards that light i don't know what this is for you it's going to be different for all of you what you're giving away you know that saying like, give your worries to God, the universe, give your worries to the angels. It feels like that's possibly what you're doing with Archangel Raphael because that's what, that's how I work with Archangel Raphael. Give something away, to give away for transmutation. You give something away to Archangel Raphael. You're giving something away to the darkness and you're being given something in return. And I feel like what you're being given in return is something resourceful. Something resourceful, something you can use. Something you can grow. Something that you can material materialize. You're coming out of extreme dissatisfaction with life. I, like I, I'm telling you, the, this it, it it sucked. Whatever it was, it it sucked. This energy is 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 hard. It's treacherous. You just want to go into a room, cry for five minutes, and then get back out and do what you need to do. I'm not spiritually bypassing anyone. You are 100% valid in feeling what you're feeling. This is dissatisfaction with life. This is feeling shitty. This is feeling drained. You're a butterfly. I can't fly. I can't soar right now. I just want to hang here for a little while. Spirit is saying, fine, and do that. But just remember, you will fly. You will soar in your new era. So you can take your five minutes. We'll shield you. We're going to shield you in the darkness. We, we will shield you in the night. This feels like grace. This feels like grace from heaven. This feels like grace from the divine, giving you some kind of grace to feel a little bit less pain, to feel a little less sorrow, to feel a little less, because you're gonna come out. You're gonna come out of this womb. You're gonna come out of this darkness, revitalized, resourceful. You're gonna come out of this energy. We talked about that Phoenix. This is a resurrection. 
you had resurrection in in a in another reading because I just got a flashback of, of a reading that I did for you talking about resurrection, but I can't remember. I can't remember it. This will feel like a second chance, but it's not a second chance. It's just more. It's more when you didn't think that there was more. It's and it's a way out when you didn't see a way out. Eight of Pentacles here twice. You have here the spider twice. I'm seeing two, 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 but this is a doubling frequency. Twos. Co-creation. Creation here with the spider. That's the giveaway. That's the giveaway. You're giving something away to spirit, to God, to the universe. You're giving something away. They're going to double it. Spirit is going to double it. Give it to me. I'm going to double it for you. Give this pain to me. I, I, will, I, I will double the healing. I will transmute it. It will multiply. Something is being multiplied. That's this giveaway here. Do you see those two sources of light? It's not just one source of light. So this is a beautiful gift. I'm seeing your chakras align here. This is healing. This is coming into alignment. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you may be struggling with finances because there's a lot of material energy here. If you're if you're if you're feeling stuck financially, I am seeing a new career. I'm seeing that you're gonna overcome this financial um, constraint. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm seeing you get a new job or, or a career that's going to be that will increase your finance your finances. Okay, you're going to be steady. This is also protection. Your finances are protected or you will find a way to protect your finances. There's something about protecting your finances and your investments. Okay? The Hierophant and Judgment. That's, again, this more of this resurrection energy in the Hierophant. This is a successful outcome to your problem. This is a successful outcome to your challenge. We were going to talk about love, weren't we? <laughs> I've been talking, I, I spoke a little bit about them, but see how spirit wants, like, this is the focus. I feel like you're going to come into this person regardless. Like, again, there's fate, there's co-creation. You soar, they soar, you will soar together. Like again, it's it's all it's all happening as planned. It's going according to plan. I can pull more cards about them. Three of Wands in the near future. Yeah, we, I, I had every intention of talking about love. <laughs> the love that is ascending. This is all like the self-love that's ascending. But again, you're both mirroring. You're both mirroring your experiences. But again, this uh, strike at midnight. There's something about the strike at midnight. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if that's just symbolic. Maybe it's like this epiphany. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I wish I did. I keep hearing it. The strike at midnight. 
Maybe that's the trigger of this new era, trigger of the fate, the fated meeting. You're gonna, you're just gonna collide with this person. Like how I collided with that car. Like, <laughs> again, no one got hurt. It was like, my car wasn't even damaged. It was just such a funny like bump. Like you're gonna bump into this person. Again, if you know this person already, I feel like that your distance is, is there's a, the gap is getting s shorter. The gap is getting smaller with this person. Okay, like you're, there's a, a, a gap here that's being, what is that, bridged, like bridge the gap. There's, you're coming closer, okay, you're, the distance that's between the both of you, if you know this person, is getting shorter and shorter. I feel like again in the new year, January, this, this relationship is going to strengthen, it's going to ascend, it's going to kick up, it's going to kick speed, like pick up speed, excuse me. Um, some of you may be meeting this at your, meeting this person at your new job, um, a new place that you're working. Uh, yeah, there's temperance. I was saying I was feeling temperance energy. There's temperance energy in your love. Yeah, you're both being, being like, your experiences are just being mirrored. Like, there's no other way I can say that. Yeah, you're going to give to this person. You're going to feel comfortable to give to this person. This person's going to feel comfortable to give to you here with the Six of Pentacles. The chariot and the ace of wands. Yeah, see, it's just, it's it's coming together. It's coming together. There's the wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune. There's the two, the two of swords, but the two of swords, I love the two of swords here because it's scissors. And we talked about giving something away. Making some kind of sacrifice. I feel like, not that you're making a sacrifice in love, but I feel like there's something in your life that you're sacrificing or that you're moving, you're doing, you're doing something in your life that feels like a really big ch change, excuse me, a decision that you're making for you. And that's when you, that's when you connect with this person, either you, you reconnect with them, like you come together with them if you know this person, or you, you end up bumping into them if you don't know this person, the chariot, but nonetheless, like you're moving. Like you're being, you're being inspired. This inspiration is moving you closer to this person. Whatever that your desire is for you, whatever you're deciding for yourself, choosing for yourself, your passions, your burning desires that you choose for you, whatever you do for you is moving you closer to them. Okay, whether you know this person or you don't, whatever you do for you is moving you closer to them love ascends okay i'm seeing someone has a moon tattoo queen of pentacles someone could be a single mom but remember i was saying you're going to be playing an, a different role or a new role switch up wait playing a new role some of you could be a new mom like a recent new mom or they could have been a recent father but this is mother. But see, I see you like tending, tending to you, tending to your own home, tending to yourself, tending to your energies. Like this is whatever you do for you brings you closer to them. And same goes for them. Yeah, page of pentacles. See, there's a lot of pentacle energy. Here's the moon again. You have here the moon twice in the night. The strike of midnight. What is that? <laughs> oh, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Their emotions come up at night. Your emotions come up at night. Someone thinks about love a lot at night. It's like that's the time that you get to yourself. Someone here is like a really busybody, and that nighttime is like the only time that they get to themselves. I'm seeing here someone thinks about love at night or someone here thinks about you at night. Yeah, four of C, four of pentacles. Someone's, someone's finances. Someone, Your life is going to change financially. Your life is going to change financially. 
if you have not played the lottery, I would suggest that you play it. Here's the star. And I channeled the star. I said, Ten of Pentacles and the star. Give me the Ten of Pentacles. Because this is financial abundance. I'm feeling financial abundance. There's the night, there's the sun. Here's the here is the Knight of Pentacles. So much pentacle energy. This person, three of pentacles. This could be work. The sun. This is this is this is freedom. Yeah, see? This birth. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. That's this relationship too. Extremely abundant. This is success. You have here success. I feel like if you know this person, I feel like you guys tried to get together in the past and it was unsuccessful. Like there were unsuccessful plans. I also feel like there were unsuccessful plans meeting up. Like you guys just couldn't get together. Maybe they messed up and like they didn't make the time. Maybe they were too busy at work. I don't know. I don't know. There was something about unsuccessful plans were made in the past. Oh my God, there's the Ace of Swords. Perhaps like for some of you, either you were a mystery to them or this person was a mystery to you. And that's what this moon energy here in your space uh, talks about as well. Like this love, because there's this like longing, an unanswered mystery that has stayed with you the longest. Maybe there was something unanswered between you and this person. <sighs> but it's finally being revealed. It's being birthed. It's going to be shown is going to it the, the truth is going to be revealed here you're going to come together with this person you're going to come together with this person at the right time some of you that it's it's just timing and there is such a thing of right person wrong time some of you this this was a timing thing mm -mm -mm. there it is ten of pentacles there it is there's a tower solid foundation Success with effort. The tower. See, I... And there's the ten of cups. And there's the two of cups. Ten, ten. I'm also getting the date of February here. All of a sudden, February came forward. Someone's birthday. April 2nd or April 10th. I'm getting that. April 2nd or April 10th. This is someone that you're going to grow with. This is someone like that is also financially secure. You're going to be financially secure. They're financially secure. They could have dealt with, you know, um, insecurities in their finances prior. But there was someone here definitely holding back. It, it, there was something unsuccessful in the past with this connection, if you know this person. I'm seeing that they're trying to grow a business or you're trying to grow a business. I'm seeing like they are treating their business as if it's their baby. They want to get, they want to, um, that's how they're treating their business or this could be you. This person is extremely careful with the decisions that they make. This person is extremely methodical. This could be an, an Aries um leo and i'm seeing a virgo or a capricorn could also be a, a cancer or a pisces maybe taurus there is also sagittarius energy here I feel like, hold on.
this strike at midnight is is like haunting me because I keep hearing it strike it strikes at midnight there's something about midnight striking there's something about nighttime with this person this could also be you I don't know if they're receiving something um within their subconscious mind some of you could be tell tell telepathy telepathic to one another I know first out for some that's like mumbo jumbo like bring it down to earth please um but that that shit's real that's very real I can't put my thumb on it. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know. It could be, maybe that's how you feel. Unanswered mystery that has stayed with you the longest. Maybe that's this like forbidden energy. Because that's honestly how I feel right now. It's just like you're going about your day. You're going about your work. You're in this darkness. And it's just like, I just have to get through this. I just have to get through this. And you, you get through it. You get past it. You make it. You're in your new era. You're thriving, right? Everything that we channeled. And then, but this like energy is just with you the entire time. And you're just like, what is this? But you mirror this person. This person is mirroring you. Your experiences mirror each other. There's something like serendipitous here where like this person was supposed to take a job in New York and they took one in Toronto instead. And then you connect, you you meet up. You're like, what? You took a job in my city? There's something like that. There, there's something with a switch up. They, You made a switch in your life. They made a switch up in their life. And like you, you connected. You connected. It doesn't have to be that distance, okay? But for some of you, it may be, okay? Some of you, it's more so like in your city or in your town. There's something in their life that they had to switch up and then you made a change in your life that switched things up and then you reconnected. But you bridge that gap closer and closer and closer. Again, the decisions that you make for you bring you closer to them and vice versa. I just feel like they have been a mystery for such a long time for you and you have been a mystery for them. You have been a mystery for them. I'm getting this like this emoji here with the star like I don't know. I don't know but meanwhile there is water pouring out of the hands. Emotions. I don't know what I feel, but you feel something. The star, the ace of cups, the moon at night, the star and the moon. And it's like raining here at night. I don't know. It feels, it feels like. And then you have this tower, the sudden change. I'm telling you that it's a sudden change with the chariot underneath it. Oh my god, I just want to like eat this energy up. It's such a nice energy. It's so mysterious. I love mystery. I love anything mysterious. Because you just want to like peek through the veil a little bit more. Like what's going on? But that's like the both of you here. Like what's happening here? <laughs> Again, even if you don't know this person, it's like this. It, it, it's like you're searching for a feeling you're searching for a feeling in the people that you meet but you haven't had that feeling yet with the people that you have met and so when you come together with this person if you haven't met them you come together with this person you finally have that feeling and that's what's going to come over you and you're just like wow did i just meet my person because that's the feeling i've been searching for in people, I finally felt it. I finally met it. Faded meeting. 
And if you have connected with this person before, if you know exactly who this person is, you've been searching for that feeling in different people and you haven't felt it yet. You haven't felt it. You haven't felt anything close to that before. Because it's only them. It's only them. Such a crazy energy. It's beautiful. This is what I have. Um, but again, it's all going according to plan. <laughs> okay. It's only going according to plan. All right. Um, Aries, first, just thank you so much for allowing me to read for you today. Um, the energy started off like really heavy, but I feel like we overcame that challenge together. Um, whatever it is that you're going through, please know that you're not alone. Okay, like, again, this is why, like, I show up no matter what I'm going through, and I don't want to hide what I'm going through because storytellers are healers, and people do this and are vulnerable, and they show up no matter what because they know that there's someone out there that just needs some kind of relata relatability, some kind of familiar energy that says, I'm glad I'm not alone, just to save someone's life you never know if if this is going to save someone's life um so please know that you're not alone and whatever it is that you're going through you're going to make it out on the other end i feel like i needed to hear this message for myself so before i start crying again <laughs> i i love you guys with all my heart i really do um i'm now seeing the number 211 that's february 11th I'm getting February 11th. Anyways, I love you guys so very much. Um, I will catch you guys next time. Okay, bye.